What's up? What's up? Oh, let me tell you, I am exhausted. This is my exhausted hat. I, uh, I have been working nonstop, and uh, I'm just going to whine. Hi, Vivek. How you doing? I'm going to just ramble for a second, then we'll get into the show. But I, uh, since yesterday, hey guys, um, since yesterday I was power washing. Look at this patio, power wash, people. I borrowed my buddy's power washer, and since 12.30 yesterday, which was Wednesday, I have been power washing the house. See, the house, it's clean. Uh, I did the roof. It was amazing, but very tiring. I was covered in gack and garbage, and we have all these, like, look, I destroyed my ceiling too. I'm going to have to fix that too. Um, so anyway, yeah, what's up everybody? Ken in here. Been doing a lot of work getting ready because next week is a big week, uh, Camp Kenan. We are um, we're going to have the pond build and that's going to be a fun video. The guys from Aquascapes are coming down. We're going to hang out with them Sunday and then Monday. They're going to transform uh, the entryway to my home into something I've always dreamed of. Uh, just a really cool uh, pond. Uh, you'll step over the pond to get into my home, and we're going to put a fly river turtle in there, so I'm pretty stoked. Um, I'll get to your questions in a second, guys, promise. Um, but anyhow, so I just want to get the, the yard and house in tip-top shape. Tom's coming down Monday. We're going to be filming all next week uh, some episodes, so it's pretty cool. I'm um, pretty excited about that. So uh, that's what's going on. So I've just been uh, working kind of crazily. I've been having a problem with my throat. I don't know what's going on there. Got to go to the doctor. They got to put a tube down into my stomach to make sure I'm uh, okay. So that's kind of interesting too. We got to do that. And uh, what else is going on, man? Um, I don't know. Just been pretty good. The weather's the weather's turned. You want to see what the pond stuff looks like? This is what it came. Thanks, Kate. I wore it just for you, dear. She's teasing me about my hat. I just felt like a little character. But uh, let's go. We're going to look at the, uh, they, they came with a semi and dropped it off. Um, and so, yep, reflux, Chris, having a bad time with it. Uh, but anyway, boom. This stuff right here will be a uh, pond eventually on Monday. They assure me that on Monday, this will become a pond. So there's liner, underlinement, filter waterfall, um, it's pretty stoked, man. I mean, I'm pretty stoked. So uh, there it all is. Uh, the, that, and guys, you know what's funny, man? Is I saw so many funny comments. I got to laugh. Kate and I were dying laughing at some of these comments when you guys, not all of you, but a after, uh, there's some kind of, some of you guys think that I live in a million dollar house and I'm flattered. I'm really flattered. Uh, more like, when I bought it, it was $400,000. So way different than a million dollars. Stoked I have the house and I'll be working the next 22 years. Nah, yeah, something like 20 years to pay it off. So guys, not a millionaire at all. I couldn't afford to build this pond. I just got lucky and met good old Greg Whitstock, and he likes what we're doing here on Camp Kennan. So um, he wants to build up his, uh, you know, his own vlog channel. So I'm gonna ask you guys when we do the pond, I'm gonna give shout out to Greg. Um, we're gonna do a lot with Greg. You're gonna meet him if you haven't already. He is a wild dude, loves turtles, loves ponds. Uh, they do a lot of cool stuff. So I'm excited to be partnering and collabing with him. I'm going to learn a lot about building uh, these ponds and I'm going to build more. Uh, I want to do, I have so many ideas, guys. Like, for example, let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at some ideas because I, I want to inspire you guys. Why I told you I'm not a millionaire is because I want you guys to know. Ed Norton? I'll take Ed Norton. Uh, good actor. Why I want you to know I'm not a millionaire is because I want you to know you guys can do all this stuff too. Nothing that I have accomplished or done is outside of the realm of possibility for most of you guys. Um, just got to basically live within your means, decide what you want out of life, and put all your energy towards that. I don't want to get all like super motivational speaker, like some kind of Tony Robbins or whatever. I'm just saying, guys, it's not, 
it's not difficult. Just stay away from drinking, drugs, put your money into positive things, save your money, and voila. So check it. So you see this big patio? What I would love to do eventually, the next kind of crazy build I want to do is pull up some pavers, make a pond in this patio, okay? Really deck it out. Beautiful garden pond, maybe some koi. And then, guys, can you imagine if we had a meandering stream, a little waterfall, because there's an elevation change here. How about a stream going down? Two streams, they fork right at that, right there at that palm tree. They fork into a pond that the leopard tortoises can drink from. So we'd have a stream, we'd have some fish, um, and it would be a little bubbling brook. I mean, I want to go crazy with water gardens. I'm really passionate about them. And I'm so excited for Monday because I'm going to learn how to build them. Um, we're even going to have my buddy Luke from Long Island, who, if you guys watch the video, uh, we did the mo world's most amazing backyard. Luke is going to be here. Uh, Luke is kind of a childhood hero of mine. He was my older brother, Michael's best buddy. And uh, I always knew this guy was building some cool stuff. Here's a radiated since you guys probably can look at a tortoise while I talk. But anyway, Luke always inspired me when I was young. Luke's going to come down here and kind of help me figure out some things with my yard so that we can do some really cool stuff on video and teach you guys how to do it as well. Um, but I'm also going to learn from... Egg, uh, Ed Blue from Aquascape. It's going to be awesome, guys. So I'm really pumped. Uh, so that's what's going on. Uh, another thing I want to do is let you all know that the Camp Cannon Army channel is going strong. If you guys could do me a favor and go on over there and subscribe there as well. That channel is where we can highlight the best that you have to offer. In other words, I want to see if we're really inspiring people. I want to see what you guys are doing with your animals. I don't care how big or small, how many animals you have. I don't care if it's a red-eared slider. I just want to see a red-eared slider in the coolest habitat. I want to see you doing the best you can with your animals. And that's why the Camp Cannon Army channel exists. We are, we are Tom and I are figuring out some cool things to do uh, to reward you guys. One is like, okay, it's a t-shirt. It's a small thing, I know that. Um, but we're still a small channel, believe it or not. Um, but the other thing we're thinking of doing is the guy who gets the most views for that month, and right now, I believe Tortoises of the Tundra is amazing. Amazing video. You guys got to check it out. What I think we're going to do is we're going to take the video and we're going to put it up on a day that there isn't a video on Camp Kennan. So it might be a Wednesday that we, once a month, we will highlight that video on the main channel. All right, so that's that's what Tom and I are kicking around the idea of doing. Look at radiated. I built this little uh, platform out of pavers, so when they when they nibble, they can scratch their little beaks down. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, go over to the Camp Kennan Army channel. Do me a favor, hit subscribe, and don't forget to subscribe here as well. We are not compromising our channel. We just wanted to do something where you guys contribute content, and um, you know we get to highlight all the hard work you all do and we are going to build the camp cannon army up uh and it's for you so i'm really stoked man uh stoked about how that's going oh look at this hello how you doing uh it's a beautiful radiated tortoise saying hello to everybody i think he's gonna get my no oh boy let's see ah no don't do it that's not that is not a veggie that's a pinky toe and i need that toe because it's got to go wee 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 all the way home uh, yeah, that was a little, hi, uh, I am slappy guys. I'm a little slap happy today. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm wearing this hat. Look at it. it. looks like it went through the blender. Uh, all right, let's get to some questions. Shall we? Let's see what everyone's doing out there. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, Jojo. Wow. 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 Very cool. Who's got a question. Can I do another Greek, uh, video? Yeah, I'm sure we'll do one. Uh, what's up Austin? And Fetterman, how's that tortoise doing of yours? Uh, sent the tortoise out to Austin. I'm pretty stoked on that. Uh, thanks so much, those of you who have purchased a tortoise from us, from me. Uh, you're helping support the channel. Uh, I do keep snakes. The tortoises are nibbling on my feet. I'm, I'm up here hanging out on this uh, log. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, the rhino and rock iguanas are good. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, whatever what can we be friends jackie dean sure we're friends 
Uh, let's see, Austin says he is really good. Uh, disappeared. He's really good eating already, and he's grown a few grams. Wow, that's amazing. All right, Austin, congrats. Uh, after this, guys, I'm also going to be doing my... Um, I'm going to be doing my uh, good old Patreon. Uh, so if you're a Patreon subscriber uh, or contributor, I'm going to go live on Patreon and we can hang out a little bit. Uh, oh, Ashley, thank you so much. Appreciate that comment. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll be doing Patreon here in a little bit. What's up, Finn Davies? Shout out. Uh, keep any reptile happy. Let's see. Hold on. This is Ash Ned. Hey, if you could keep any reptile happy and healthy at your place, what would I choose? Well, I've already done that. I keep radiated leopards. I got some sulcatas. Uh, they seem to be doing well. Um, and, uh, oh, I think, what else would I like? Fermi star tortoises I'd love to keep down here. The Slinkster's good, man. Let's go see him. Let's see what the Slinkster's up to. Um, what else we got going on? I feel like I'm supposed to tell you something else so that um, Tom doesn't yell at me. I don't know. Tom, i got to be honest with you guys. I'm going to... Tom is kind of a slave driver, dude. The dude is gnarly. He's a, like, honest-to-goodness television producer. And, like, he yells a lot. And he makes me do things. I'm just kidding. Tom's great. I'm like a runner with no legs. Tom is the legs, man. All I do is talk. Tom knows how to put things together. Uh, so I'm just teasing. But anyway, let's see what's going on here, people. Let's see. I'm not getting a Komodo wagon. But I got a Slinkster. Slinky! He just ate three uh, rats today. I was going to do that live, but then I thought, ah, someone might get upset. You know, I don't like upsetting people, but it's going to happen sooner or later. Hey, come here, Slinks. Come say hello to everybody. Let's put you guys right here. Yeah, Don Marie Mario. I have a girlfriend, and her name is Kate. She's super cool. Uh, what up, what up, Slinks? Come on over here. Here he comes, man. Look at this guy. Hey, Slinky, come here. Say hello to everybody. All right. Hey, yeah, Law and Order. Someone says I look like Christopher Maloney. That's cool. I'll take it, too, man. He was in Man of Steel also, I believe. Uh, yeah, I look like a lot of people, man. You know? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Peyton, this is Slinky, dude. Peyton uh, was asking who Slinky is, people. Why don't you all let Slinky, let him know who Slinky is? All right, Shirley, we're going to see some Darth Maul babies in a moment. I want to show you guys some of my uh, cherry heads that are now available. If you guys email me at campkennon at gmail.com, you can get a price list on the tortoises I have available. Come here, Slinks. Say hello to everyone. There he is. Oh, there's a fly river. There's a fly river turtle. And there's Slinky. How cool is that? So he's just enjoying the water right now. And uh, we're hanging out, man. Uh, let's see. Do I sell? No, I do not sell alligator snapping turtles. You have to have a special permit to have them. Shelled reptiles. Cold snaps over. I'm sure we'll get one more. Um, I have three fly river turtles. Uh, Alyssa Felina. Yes, save the Cuban crocodile. That's what we were doing with Crocfest last month in, uh, December. Um, yes, Slinky is an Asian water monitor. Martin, Marty, Wellen. Do I recommend ball pythons? Yeah, ball pythons are great little uh, boa, uh, excuse me, uh, boid, boide pet. They're, they're actually a um, constrictor, and they're cool. Uh, let's see. What's happened to the rescued green iguana? Uh, that rescued green iguana got a new home months and like almost a year or two ago. Am I planning any videos? Let's see, let's see. Am I planning any videos with croc? Yeah, man. Uh, ter terrier, terrier, Golvog. Did I say it? Terrier, like Terrier Hawkinson, the uh, the famous snowboarder. Uh, so Terrier, Terrier, yes. Kyle is a member of the Camp Kennan channel. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of videos with him. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Uh, let's see. What kind of turtles do I sell? You'll have to email me at campkennan at gmail.com to find out. Come here, Slinks. God, I love that lizard. Um, let's see. What else do we got here? Am I going to a lender reptile show? No. I'm going to be preparing the home for the big week of videos we're going to be doing. Starting off with the pond build on Monday. Are you guys having fun about hanging out with, hanging out here with Slinky? Please pat him. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come up. There he is. 
He's got a little algae on his head and a little leaf. Give me that leaf. There you go. Uh, so Slinky is uh, awesome, and uh, that's all we need to know. So, uh, oh, another thing I'm going to do now that I'm buddies with the Aquascape people is I'm going to go ahead and get um, a filtration thing for this pond so I don't have to always overflow it. So I'm going to get a little filter for this. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Galaxy, what's up? Uh, what else? What else? That made your week 100 times better. I'm Brad, Rich Lee 185. Uh, let's see. All right, so there's Slinky. Let's move on out. Let's see what else is going on. So you guys saw this guy in the uh, video on Tuesday. And that was a great video. We had a lot of conversation. I uh, appreciate everyone's comments. There is Tiger. He's hanging out. Tiger's just chilling in his enclosure. Normally, uh, the Timor pythons are in here, but Tiger's kind of hanging here right now. Um, so let's go see some rhino eggies. We saw them not long ago. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, they're inside, I think. I wonder if the... Let's just make sure that the um, Wi-Fi continues to work. Let's have a peek. Here's some cherry heads. We have some beautiful cherry head hatching uh, babies that are hatched. I'm going to go over there in a moment. You guys will be stoked. Let's see. Up oh, there are the Cuban iguanas over there. I got to pick up those plates. Up. Oh. There's one rhino, and there's the other. I have two baby rhinos for sale from the pair. They're in the reptile room right now. How cool is that? Nah, no girlfriend for Slinky yet, but they're sleeping right now, so the guys are in with the Greek tortoises. And then, um, why don't we do this? Let's, uh, let's go back in to the house and see What's going on with the baby uh, baby tortoises? We'll take a peek in the incubator. I haven't done that yet today. So we'll see who else is hatching and get you guys a cool view of some baby tortoises. Look at how clean, it's clean. Let me just show you this too. This roof was black, I promise. The roof was black and they want like $700 to power wash your house. Now, I ain't got that. I'd rather spend that 700 bucks on a reptile. Look at this. That is a clean barrel tiled roof. Bam! All sides. Okay? I'm just, just happy about that. Oh, you wanna hear something funny? See this uh, ladder? While I was up there, I knocked it down and I was stuck on the roof for a while until I figured out how to get the ladder picked up with the hose. It was kind of fun. Uh, the tour with the prolapse is perfectly fine. He's out in his enclosure. Let's go see some babies. Babies, babies, babies. We're inside the camp. The camp control room, this is the house. You know, that million dollar house I live in. Not, million, not millions of dollars. Uh, so I just set something very simple up for these guys. And uh, let's move it over. Now all these leopard tortoises are sold. Uh, we do have a little baby red foot, but we also have a bunch of awesome little cherry head tortoises that have hatched. So here are the cherry head tortoises. There's one. I want to show you guys a, the crazy one from last week. Where is he? Where is he or she? Is this it? Yeah, look at the legs on this. Is that incredible? Look at the legs on that tortoise. So these are my baby cherry heads. These guys are all for sale. Uh, this one right here is $350. But the rest are 250 and the Redfoots are 125. Uh, email me at campkennan at gmail.com for more information. Shipping is $70 west of the Mississippi, and they are it's $60 east of the Mississippi and $30 in the state of Florida. Let's see what's going on in the incubator. Hold on, everyone will flip it. Flip that camera around. All right, let's see what's doing. Oh, look at this. Right away, we got more cherry heads hatching. Guys, I got cherry heads for days. If you're interested in a baby cherry head tortoise, now's the time to act. Oh my gosh, look at this. He's about ready to be pulled out. I'm gonna soak these guys here after this video. Holy smokes, and there's a little guy in the back. Let's see. Let's turn him up front and get him around here gently. Easy does it. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful. Perfect. Cherry heads are from Brazil. Oh, here's another one. Look at this, guys. Another one with those crazy legs, man. 
that's what I'm going to name though. These are the crazy lead cherry heads. Holy smokes, man. How awesome is that? So that's two, just like the other one. Incredible. These are like, these are some mall babies for sure. How cool is that? Oh, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, the reason you're seeing such craziness, these are Darth Maul babies. So they're 350 for the Darth Maul babies. The others are 250. They're just, you know, non-Darth Maul strain. But is that incredible, man? Woo, that's so rad, huh? Beautiful, beautiful baby uh, cherry heads there. Let's see what else we got. We got a little bit of a back order on leopard tortoises. So the next couple that hatch have already been bought. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, snap, look what we got. It's like Christmas, people. How about an elongated, yeah. That is awesome, man. A little beautiful elongated. Let's peel back the eggshell a little bit. Look at how cool that is. Isn't that amazing? Look at the face. Awesome, man. Crazy Legs was the name of a G.I. Joe character back in the 80s. Oh, it's so rad. It is, uh, I, I won't sell them as, as possible head hypos. It is possible, but I'm not selling them as the head hypos, although they are looking ridiculous. Um, they're just going to be normal uh, Darth Maul babies because I no longer have that male in with them. But is that awesome, guys? This little elongated. Guys, elongated tortoises are awesome. I have a few available. They're great little tortoises and very hardy. All right, let's see. I think I think we might be done with hatching, with animals hatching. I don't think. These are kind of newer eggs, so I don't think we're going to see anybody popping out in here. Sadly, these are all newer. I don't think that's happening. I'll just leave these guys be. But how cool. More crazy legs, man. Let's see. There he is. Oh, he's moving, too. One more time for crazy legs. Bam! What up? Is that so amazing or what? All right, so there you have some baby tortoises. Uh, very, very cool in the incubator. Sulcata season will be beginning soon. I do have some eggs already incubating, uh, but they haven't, there has not been a lot of, um, there's not been a lot of sulcatas laying in the last two years. At least mine haven't been laying as early as they normally do. Let's go back outside and chill for a little bit. Oh my gosh, I just wanna be outside. I have to clean in here and it's just, come on, man. So the lives are a chance for me just to hang out, talk to you. Um, you know, our produced videos are coming to you. We're gonna have some Ask Cam Kennans. We're gonna have a new episode up on Tuesday and uh, Tom will be here Monday. So I'm excited to get filming next week. Some of the topics I think we'll, um, I think you guys will like. We're gonna go look for some uh, feral iguanas since that was a big video last week we want to talk more about the uh, feral iguana population um, we're going to mess with kyle a little bit uh, see what he's got going on he's building a state-of-the-art crocodile facility and we're going to look at some of the plans to that and go view the property um, just a lot going on guys so it's it's a really cool thing um uh, thanks for coming over, DJ Reptiles. I, I don't know who Tyler Ruge, Street, uh, Tyler Ruge is, but thanks for coming over. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chuck the Alligator? Chuck went back to the sanctuary, bud. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, Jojo Baby Rhinos? Yeah, I got Baby Rhinos. Uh, I, you know, check out my Instagram, at um, Camp Kennan on Instagram for other videos and I do the Instagram stories and every once in a while I pop up live over there as well. Uh, so there's pictures of the baby rhinos there. I have two left. Uh, the baby rhinos have gotten a little bit bigger. They're 600 plus shipping. Um, the first reptile I ever hatched was a yellow bellied slider turtle. No, 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 no. The first reptile I ever hatched was my snapping turtle Clyde in August, uh, excuse me, October of 1998. Clyde's in the pond now. So there you go. All right, everyone, uh, we're going to wind this up. I am going to get myself ready for my Patreon, my Patreon live, um, where I, you know, answer questions for some of the Patreon members. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Um, I, I really do appreciate you jumping on here. We saw a few different animals today. We talked about Slinky, some baby turtles. You meet the, you met the Darth Maul's crazy leg babies. 
And um, I will be uh, working hard, promise. And it'll be all right. Oh, Mishkalovla Minsky loves gaming. I'm sorry you came late. But at least you got a shout out. And if you just go back, this will be uploaded and you can start all over again. And hear me shout you out again. And then it'll be a loop. It'll be like some kind of loop. And we'll be stuck in it. <laughs> that would be weird. Anyway. Uh, all right, everyone. Give me a little bit if you're going to join me over on the Patreon. Um live to set up the computer and uh there we go thanks jose pause i know what you meant dude uh all right everyone please have a great weekend and i will see you guys really soon uh so long bye everybody oh yeah so long